Nomianus is located in the Greater Manchester area and I made the work in 2007-2008. But it was kind of influenced by work I made before, Nonsuch, that is um, a place that Prince Charles designed, so it's, it's the new way we should live in. And I was quite interested to find in this kind of Greater Manchester area parts obviously were decided that they should vanish now, so i.e. Uh, the council put these houses under compulsory purchase order so um, and a lot of it will be demolished in the future and some streets interestingly will become part of this bigger regeneration project but some streets literally will be demolished and have been already through the last couple of ten, year, ten years roughly so I was interested in that kind of um, in these kinds of urban fabrics that I started visiting to regularly and um, I decided to photograph these streets where most of the time one resident is still living there and the rest of the street has been completely boarded up. And you can always see that in the series that you will find one remaining resident. And I was quite interesting, interested to think about the kind of social exclusion this person is obviously exposed to. And that in terms of when you think of the city, you always think of it as inhabited people, the community. And this is clearly about a community that has vanished or that's disappearing. And that's something I was very interested in. And I also wanted to make a reference to Pompeii, another city that hundreds of years prior to that vanished. But this case obviously through a natural disaster. So I wanted to make it very clear that um, this will go this will vanish. So the colour that you see in the streets is what we call Pompeii red. So it's this very vibrant colour that in Pompeii was painted on the houses when you were of significance, when you were either of wealth or you were culturally of importance. And I quite liked that in relationship to these houses that once for the working class, you know, were, were a signal of having achieved something. And um, the title also Nomianus is very relevant in that when they excavated Pompeii, they found a house called the Zerizio House, and it sat in mosaic stone, Numianus and Zerizio, and they were the main trading companies with Rome, so they were the richest, basically. And Numianus can be translated as coin, so for money. So this relationship in the housing market, that where you live, how you live, what your vision is, um, how the idea of going home even is, is dependent on your income, is dependent on what you can afford. So that's something quite political I was interested to introduce in this work. Yeah, it does refer aesthetically to a kind of deadpan photographic style. And I think it does refer to photographers like the Bechers that photographed for a long, long period these kinds of industrial buildings and in a very um, distanced way or detached way. And I do feel that that is very much the way I approach photography with whatever series I've done. And Lumianos clearly falls into that um, tradition of taking a certain step back and, and, and never including people, never including action, so to speak, and also that the way it's placed becomes kind of singled out of the kind of surrounding environment, so to speak. So you really focus on that chosen subject matter. And I clearly think that it does refer to that. When I make the work, I wouldn't say that the Bechers or people like Gursky are um, always on my mind. But when I look at work, of course, that reference is quite clear. So I would say that I belong to that kind of tradition of making photography. Making work is quite a long process actually and um, the way I photograph is always with the monorail, it's always with the 5.4. Um, it always is dependent on certain weather conditions so when I shoot it's quite conceptually relevant so I, in, non, in, in Nomianos you see that the sky is always kind of um, clean so I don't like clouds necessarily so things like that are always relevant that I have to research beforehand. But the way I make work is, is kind of influenced a lot also by literature, um, by narratives that I might pick up from books. So it's not um, that kind of linear, so to speak. So sometimes work can brew within me for years and then I find the right um, vehicle to express or channel more my concerns. But in the case of Numianus, I was very much interested in this idea also of utopia, this idea of something that is so-called perfect and what a, 
this urban condition that once for the working class was this new vision, so to speak, how that is obviously decaying and we are now getting rid of that and what relationship that has to something that was supposedly the environment for the perfect community. And things like that I'm quite interested that clearly are not coming from within photography necessarily, but um, that I might have found through newspaper clippings or documentaries or other artists' work, things like that, sometimes walking down the street. So it's not as linear as you think it, it looks like. When you obviously make the work, it is much more organized and planned because I even have to check my weather conditions on BBC, you know. So that's much more, but you, you then clearly know what it is you want to achieve. But the process before the conceptual thinking can take a long time and its influence by completely different things.